here we have here is the Nix NDT Nix Spot 600 ultrasonic spot weld detector specifically made for the automobile industry. Today we're doing a quick demonstration on why the Nix Spot 600 is the industry leader in speed, stability, accuracy, and ease of use. And the reason why the Nix Spot 600 can launch so fast is because this is Unix based not based on Windows. And that goes into the reason why that our system is also so much more stable and reliable. Now we all understand and we all know that the Windows when it comes to the stability, you gotta have viruses, blue screen of death, and you could be doing a test all day and gather tens and thousands of data and then all of a sudden blue screen of death and all your data would be all wiped out. Now that I have demonstrated the Nix Spot 600 has a fast startup launch time and it's more stable due to the Unix operating system. I want to demonstrate to you the Nix Spot 600 is highly accurate when it comes to detecting spot well in the automobile. This is a face array 64 channel 52 element systems. Now other may claim to be 64 channel, but theirs can only run on one channel at a time. Whereas our system uses 64 channels at the same time. Now what that translates into real time feedback. Let me demonstrate. Here I'm just gonna put our transducer directly on the spot well. And immediately you can see the nugget, the size, the indentation and just look around what we mean by real time as I move the transducer around you can see the movement and that's something a lot of our competitors cannot do next let's get into some of the key features and capabilities of the next spot 600 so I have here it's a two sheet metal that's spot welded together. It's like an example typical on an automobile. And I got four spot weld. I already have Copeland apply to that. So let's, uh, let's give a demonstration. So the first thing I need to demo here is that I need to show you there's a velocity as in all metal there's a different type of velocity. You got steel and aluminum. And if you have different type of metal, then you uh, can do a manual adjustment on the velocity. Since this is steel, I'm gonna click steel here. And then to further you and fine tune this calibration, there are gain, delay, and threshold, each way you can customize. But our system here can even auto detect. If you see here by clicking this, that auto detect automatically set all the gain, delay, and threshold for you. And lastly, I'm going to move this up. I'm going to put the transducer on a, on the plate where there's no spot well and I do a final calibration and make sure everything is red and then I could do and I can start scan here we are on the first scan I could pause it and this allows me to take a look at some of the data that I have in this case right here, the diameter of the well is 4.1. The indentation is 0 0.7. This here number gives the, the thickness of the first sheet metal. And the stack here, which is the thickness of the nugget is 2.5. Five, nine. Now I can go through each spot well 
start the scan I get you to pass I go to a different scan in this case as an example I could fail and I could also apply different reasons for passing and also different reason for failing So lastly, I want to demonstrate the power of our software system. Now what I demonstrated at first was a typical random scenario where you would pick a spot well on any car and you would bring your system to check for the spot well data. But typically that's not a scenario how it would be done on a uh, automobile assembly. So here I have a database already created by management, for instance. And I'm going to go ahead and import that into our system. So the data can be imported through either USB or there is a, uh, it could be done through the internet. I'm going to go ahead and click import and do a browse and I just created that earlier I go ahead and import that once it's imported I need to change database type in the password click OK Database change successful. Click uh, new. Select the part that I created. The root. Click OK. Just random any number or alphabet for serial number. And here we are. The part that management created earlier with the in this scenario here there are five spot well that needs to be checked and the root already being created so in so in which direction and in order I can zoom in for a uh, better read so let's get started and testing again the first thing we need to do is calibrate make sure that's calibrated correctly pick a nugget of course this is just example pass test this here fail test this here Pass. You get the idea. And if I want to change the reason, I could come here and change different type of reason why it passed, different reason why it failed. And this could be all customized. And all this information can be gathered and be offloaded into a centralized database and ultimately can be exported to Excel.